cute. Alright, I'm gonna remove my effects. <laughs> Where's Ilana? Invite people. Alana. Alana. Yeah. Okay, everybody, welcome to the broadcast. It's finally working. We're on air. We're on air. We're Ooh. live with Moo and Brandon from and King of the Yard. Zach Yards. and Jared. Cool, and then I'm going to invite this skillful zombie here. <laughs> <laughs> Jared, I saw the uh, picture you posted or photoshopped yourself in for uh, yeah. Yeah. Servants of the Forsaken Orb. That was really cool. <laughs> I didn't see this. That sounds awesome. Oh, you gotta check it out. Services of the Forsaken Orb was the best team in my very biased opinion. <laughs> yeah, I, I kinda had to go for you guys, too. Didn't have Although anything we against all fell in battle. Oh, well. <laughs> you win some, you lose some. That happens. It's true. It's true. But it depends on how we call, how we go forward from the loss. That that's what makes us victorious because we take it and turn it into something else. <laughs> exactly. You are way more optimistic than like everybody I've ever met. <laughs> uh, <laughs> maybe to a fault. <laughs> or at least in science, because like most people in science are pretty pessimistic. Or at oh, least really? I found maybe maybe at NASA y'all are all in like you know sunshine and rainbows land. <laughs> no, definitely I'm the sunshine and rainbows person, and then there's the <laughs> human bloom person. Although like you know everybody's hurting from a science standpoint nowadays, <laughs> but <laughs> yeah. And the, I feel bad. Uh, did you read the article about the sequestration and how? It I know. No more out like uh. No more outreach programs, right? Nope. Which is how I was able to get into to NASA, the NASA pipeline. That's what everybody talks about, the pipeline. Oh, well. How? Can, can, we, can we get, get a little, little outreach? Can, yeah. can we get a little backstory on what you guys are talking about? Oh, um, so given your accent, I assume you're in Canada? Uh, yes, yes, I am. Ah, okay. <laughs> so Canada doesn't have this problem. <laughs> uh, yeah. But... Here in the States, um, uh, we just happen to have kind of like a gridlock with our legislative body, um, and uh, both of the ruling parties did not come to an agreement, and so, uh, oh, hey, how's it going? Um, so both of the ruling parties uh, could not come to an agreement for funding, uh, and so they decided um, to kind of cut everything, <laughs> uh, including um, a big chunk comes out of uh, scientific research. And so um, various scientific institutions are having to, uh, you know, figure out what to cut and what to keep. And NASA recently cut their outreach programs, meaning they don't, uh, they don't uh, have any, like, programs for, like, little kids anymore and stuff like that. Uh, oh, that's for the lame. time being. Yeah, I know it sucks. Hopefully, um, they switch that around. Yeah, kids love it, space stuff. It also stuff. means that I don't get any free food at conferences anymore, which, <laughs> are like, oh, which is like not the not a big deal. Uh, but still, although, free like, food's pretty cookies good. Cookies were always good for morale. Um, <laughs> yeah, but uh, yeah, what what stinks is now that like uh, yeah. Various labs are getting like cut too, so that's that's not good. That's not yeah. cool. Yeah. Not cool at all. But you know, it's kind of like everybody's fault, or everybody in Congress's fault. So <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> everyone's at fault there. But something goes wrong, we blame Congress. No, I mean this is directly Congress's fault. Like. Oh, they, they are then. No, it, I'm not <laughs> just blaming. Like, okay. it actually is. Like, they're the ones who, like, made this happen. <laughs> so, okay. Yeah, it's not like a political, like, because both parties, like, had they agreed then on something, then this wouldn't have happened. But because they couldn't, this happened. So, 
Right. Like, from a nonpartisan standpoint and an unbiased standpoint, like, this is their fault. But digging the uh, Iron Man, whatever that is, in the background. Oh, yeah, right? I found this. It's rad. <laughs> That's pretty <Yeah>. cool. <laughs> Thanks. Cool. Yeah. Are there any so, questions so far? Oh, man. Rich and his amazing beard. <laughs> oh, hey, it's, Hello. it's the guy from uh, Ivan's G Plus Hangout. Yeah. I wanted I to get admiring. on that, but I couldn't, and I was like, oh, man. But yes, your, your beard is very majestic, sir. Tom. <laughs> Shout out to Tom. <laughs> Gummy bears. My weird coworker. <laughs> <laughs> no, I love you, Tom. <laughs> You're awesome, Tom. <laughs> Yay, everybody loves Tom. <laughs> email um, no, are there any questions? Uh, yeah, I have a question. Go ahead. How's your day? <laughs> <laughs> it's great. It's going well. I woke up at, at six a.m. and drove forty minutes away so that I can kind of fail at swimming. <laughs> oh, so I was doing an aquathon today. Don't you do triathlons and stuff? Yeah, but yeah. the distances that I've done before are so small, um, and all the training that I've been doing was in the pool. And when you get in open water, oh. it's really scary. It was a mile, right? Um, or this was this one not? Was this one was 500, 500 meters. meters. Oh, 500 oh, meters? Yeah. Oh, okay. So the final one that I want to do is actually a mile. A little bit. I've done a mile before in yeah. Boy Scouts, but oh, not, okay. not oh, with job. the running and the biking part. Oh. Just the just the swimming part, which adds a, a whole extra. Yeah, I know. Yeah. It's like oh, you just swim a mile. Also, you need to run a marathon, and you which is twenty six point two miles, I believe. Mm -hmm. And then you also have to do what, like a hundred miles on bicycle or something. <laughs> yeah, for the full Ironman, it should be a hundred twelve miles. I yeah, woo! Like, no, oh, that's nothing. That's <laughs> Oh, come on. <laughs> I just swam a mile. You're, That's you're, a little you're bit You're just of being a pansy, Moo. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Moo. Uh, hi, Casey. I'll have the Iron Man as a challenge. That'll be one of the challenges. The final nerd off of the Iron Man. Perhaps. There you go. What? <laughs> that sounds terrible. <laughs> hey, Moo. Um, Celeste was in the comments for the last YouTube one, so I think she might want to join. Oh, yeah. sweet. Let me add her. Okay, invite me. Oh, man. Another Canadian. Yay! Yeah. yeah. I don't know about those things. <laughs> How about Putin? And she straight up wears a Canadian tuxedo, too. Oh, nice. Canada, eh? <laughs> Indeed. Canadian tuxedo, is that like a euphemism for something? Or <laughs> it it means you wear, uh, it means wear jean pants and a jean shirt. Ah, okay, never mind. <laughs> oh, wow, I, looked at this earlier. I don't know where she went. I'm hope I hope the oh, there she is. Oh, she is. And there's hey, a Hey, there we go. Okay. I'm glad you're here. I wanted to tell you in the last hangout after I had left, I love your blue hair. Oh, thank you. I wanna dye my hair blue, but I face complications. What complications? Yeah. Being that I need, well, yeah, I need to actually get a job, Fair and then enough. they need to be okay with me dyeing my hair blue. Yeah, okay. I don't think I would be allowed to do that either. <laughs> Probably not. Ah, uh, actually, maybe, maybe. <laughs> you could say it's an experiment. No, I mean like, I don't think the professors would care that much. Maybe one professor would care, but hmm. Okay. I don't it's think it would work ass. on me though. <laughs> you never know until you try it. Yeah. Don't knock it till you try it, bro. I should, I should like dye my hair purple and then get like a face tattoo. Yes. <laughs> oh, you should do that. I'm like oh, only God can judge me. <laughs> Basically, something no. from the hangout, kind of. No, I I would not do that. <laughs> Man, it'll look rad on you, bro. You brock it. <laughs> and then I would never get a job anywhere ever. <laughs> they call them everlasting Except for, like, stoppers. maybe as a, 
tattoo artist, of which, like, mm. I would suck at. Um, um, now, yeah. you should dye your hair blue and wear the uh, Bell Talk Tandemar mask. <laughs> I still have the mask. Nightmare. Yeah, I, I saw that last time. It's um, my uh, memento to remember Ivan. <laughs> there you go. That would yeah. be like the most awesome necromancer ever. You would be the most attractive guy in the insane asylum, that's for sure. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> so there's that. I mean, if you don't have a job, there's at least something. Like some <laughs> nice prospect to that. <laughs> Uh, Moo, I heard, I uh, listened to a podcast that Danielle was on, that TV show, and she said your name is actually Korean for rainbow. Is that true? That is true. If you type in rainbow into Google Translate and then translate it into Korean and then push the speaker button, it'll say Moojige. Nice. Yeah. So I'm half Korean on my mom's side of the family. Oh, that's cool. Bali, Bali, Arashi, Ani Haseyo. Yeah. <laughs> yes. I have no idea. <laughs> I told the bus driver to go faster, and then I said hello. Hello. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's what that means. Yeah. Bobby Bobby is faster, and then Adashi's man, and then Anihaseyo. Hello. I know Anyang. Yeah. That's about it. Uh, there's a question from one of the forums. They want to know if you guys have read any of the uh, fan fictions that have been written about. Yes. Oh my gosh! Where, where did you find that? Because like I saw one that Virgil posted, and I, I just I, I get him from Virgil. He text messages me, and he sends them to me because he finds them hilarious. Uh, um, uh, you find them on like, the TV board of 4chan. I guess okay. I, I think he oh, grabbed a couple of B maybe. Um, no, it's all from TV. Is it from TV? I don't know, but I know there was. There's one that I read. I wish I saved it. I could probably get it from, maybe it was from him or from Ivan, but it was an Ivan Mushige Chicken Panda um, oh, no. thing. Oh. And then it was written from the standpoint of Ivan at the start. And he's like, yeah, and then I like, you know, high five, um, Chicken Panda and all this stuff. <laughs> and then and then it's, and then it like swaps perspectives. And then it's from like Mushige's standpoint. And then she's describing how Ivan is like wearing a chicken mask, and then he removes it, and then he high fives himself, and then like, <laughs> he puts it back on. And it's like some sort of psychological thriller where he's got like more than one personality. Oh, that's um, amazing. <laughs> if I can find it again, I'll send it to you. It's hilarious. <laughs> Oh, I need to read that. I don't yeah. know. Fan, fan fiction scares me sometimes. <laughs> I... well, of course, because oh. it's fans writing stuff, and you have no idea what goes on in our heads. I was lucky enough that I've only seen one that involved me, um, and it was funny. What? Yeah, Holy there was what? one that had me and Virgil, and that one was really funny. What, was it um, like a, um, a Dr. Octopus versus... Whoever Virgil was supposed no, to be. No, I think it was like the two of us were like, like I was angry at him for something, and then like it just Taking shifts the into the like the cipher. worst direction it could go. Oh, um, <laughs> but yeah. Oh, that's cool. Although they, I think whoever wrote it was like, they could have done more with it because like him being like you know, Mr. Computer Hacker guy and everything, they totally could have done some sort of, like, penetration testing, like, line or something like that. Like, you know, rooting the box or something. Like, they could have done something with that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay, so I'll try to keep the Kane Leonard's questions to a minimum because I know it's been over for a few weeks. <laughs> but, for, like, uh, eight months? Okay, yeah, definitely, if you want to go with actual shooting time. But, uh, Moo, how was the molecular gastronomy dinner? Oh, that was amazing. It um, looked amazing on TV with all the smoke, and I was like, oh, my gosh, that's awesome. Yeah, uh, what's it, Richard Blaze, his, his meals are a work of art. It's like having art in your mouth. <laughs> that's a bad description. But, um, no, no, it's a good description. <laughs> I can, I can taste that. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, it was delicious. Every single meal was yummy, and 
And it was really sweet sharing, having it shared with me because I was feeling really terrible at that point and then having Danielle yeah. actually share that meal and such an amazing meal at that. <laughs> um, it, it was just, it tasted great in so many ways. That, that just the icing on top of the cake. Yes, exactly. So it was yummy, and we got drunk. He made. He even made a. <laughs> <laughs> he made this really delicious um, cinnamon spiced uh, alcohol be alcoholic beverage, and it was just so delicious. We just drank it like water, and, and shared the rest with everybody else. But it was. I, I'm not gonna lie. I'm thinking that might be the tagline for season two, <laughs> King of the Nerds. Drunk nerds are awesome. Yeah. <laughs> or something to that effect. You know, I don't think they're going to have alcohol on season two. Yeah. Uh, well, the casting bad. is asking for people That's between 18 and 30. Uh, and so uh, if they have anyone uh, under the age of 21, then they can't have drinking. Yeah. What if they film well, in Vancouver? Celeste, Celeste was under the age of 21, and she... Well, the, yeah. she was supposed to be there. <laughs> Yeah, uh, she was only, I thought she was. Yeah, she was only like 18 or 19. Oh, uh, really? Because they made it like a requirement to be 21 or over when we were cast. Yeah, huh. but huh. They, they bent some rules for the girls they added to the show. <laughs> oh, I think that there was a requirement that you had to be a U.S. citizen, too, but I think she yeah. was... I heard that she had been specifically requested as opposed to applied. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. No, she did apply though, because she posted her audition video online, and she didn't remove it when we were asked to. So that's why I thought she wasn't gonna be there. No. Then I was like, oh, never mind. I know who you are and your YouTube account name, and <laughs> like, well, because I had written a script that like Stalker scoured Brendan. YouTube. No, it scoured YouTube and looked for like people's audition videos. Because I wanted to see who all would be, um, you know, potentially against me. Uh, because I knew that they were going to send an email to all of us that made it past a certain point asking for us to remove the videos from YouTube because we weren't supposed to put them up. And then I, made, I kept the list of videos that I scoured, compared it to the list after that email was sent, and then I had, like, a short list of people that, like, had made it to a certain point. Uh, turns out none of those people on that short list <laughs> ended up on the show, and I was super wrong about everything that I had predicted. Oh, oh man. Oh, not at all, oh. man. I mean, also, <laughs> my videos were completely private the entire time, so... Yeah, I never posted mine publicly either, because I figured that was a no-no. Are you going to, ever? Uh, um, I don't think I'm allowed to. Yeah, Everybody else has put theirs up. Yeah. Oh, really? Bertha I don't put know. his up, Ivan's put his up, Celeste put hers up. I feel a little, uh, I'd rather get explicit permission. Well, uh, I, I, I just because be I'm like, Hendrick is not, <laughs> Hendrick is not on YouTube because apparently Hendrick he's isn't like a ghost. <laughs> Hendrick has no web presence. He's a yeah. ghost on the internet. He is a ghost. everywhere. Yeah. He deleted himself. <laughs> Wish Hendrick was here. Yeah, I miss that guy. Every once in a while, he'll send an email out to us, which is always odd. And um, that's the picture! Who is Jared? Oh, it's the picture that Jared made. Yeah, that's pretty cool. That is boss. You no. shopped me out and put you there. Well, well not on what? Twitter. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, yeah, not on Twitter. <laughs> I was gonna say, okay, I'm pretty sure I saw Brandon's toad hat on there, so... Yup! It's in there on Twitter, on Twitter. <laughs> so go search him on Twitter and you can see the real deal. Sounds good. I haven't been on Twitter in a while. Oh, I posted a link there a couple days ago, I think, but... Yeah. Did you see on uh, Neil deGrasse Tyson's Twitter how he went to In-N-Out Burger for, like, the first time a few yeah, years yeah. ago? Yeah, yeah! I did see that, but Funny. I gotta say, <laughs> In and Out Burger's so not that great. No, I gotta but say. I don't know. I just think it's funny. I thought it was this amazing. Late life. <laughs> yeah. I really five, like guys. Neil deGrasse Tyson, and I really want to have a beer with him. And yeah. <laughs> I totally sent him like a giant fan letter, along with a uh, limited run copy of um, <laughs> the. Uh, 
the Superman comic that he was in, Action Comics 14, I believe. Um, and so I hope cool. he sends it back autographed, because if not, well, that was the limited run cover, and <laughs> I just lost a really awesome comic. Oh. <laughs> but, that would be terrible. Uh, yeah, we'll see. We'll see. Hopefully. Hopefully. Well, but if, it, we, if he sends it be... back, I would feel so much like awesome. <laughs> we, we hope he sends it back with an autograph. Yeah, well, I mean, even without would be fine, but if he's going to go through the trouble of sending it back, I already paid postage. I, like, inserted a package inside the package. Um, you did your fair share of the work. Yeah, yep. Also, like, he had posed some question during a lecture that he gave down here in Nashville that I went to, and uh, I kind of think I have an answer to the question. So, like, I wrote up this lengthy, like, thing, citing a couple papers, and I was like, if you want to know more, you should contact Professor so-and-so at Duke University. And then, hopefully, I will get a response, because that would rock my socks off. <laughs> yep. Yeah, what, um, just side question, again, what's Nashville like? It's, right now, it's kind of windy and rainy, but, <laughs> oh, <okay>. uh, <laughs> My, da my dad goes there pretty much every summer on his motorcycle, so... It's all right. I like it. That's good. There's some good food. People Wait, are Zach, you live, in, you live in Canada? Yes, I'm a I Canadian. I heard in Canada that they have 100 words for snow, but not a single word for friend. And everybody has to live in an igloo and ride a polar bear to work in an ice factory. Wait, wait, wait. They don't have work. any words for friend. It's Canada. They're like, hey, buddy. Hey, friend. Hey, guy. Like, it's Canada. 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 My good pal. Right? Canada, eh? Like, <laughs> oh, you betcha, eh, there, but I'm oh, yeah, the Canadian to get all this heat. <laughs> oh, yeah. They go to Tim Hortons and do shots of maple syrup. In Canada, milk I wish that was comes a thing. in bags. Actually, true. yes, milk does come in bags as sometimes. Brandon, uh, there's a question, and they're wondering if you were imbibing any alcohol this evening. This evening, uh, I've got to write up a. So I'm working on on a uh, article as well as setting up some uh, some slides for a talk I'm giving tomorrow. So not really. Uh, not really. Yeah. Not no. Brandon, how was your okay. birthday? So yeah, how was your birthday, man? It's no, but the not really part, so it's kind of like, so right now I'm soaking some gummy bears and vodka for Saturday coming up, oh, nice. because a couple of my friends from some labs are, you know, having to get together, so I did have a couple of those just to test to see how well they're coming out, but that's not really imbibing so much as, like, making sure that gummy bears are soaking up vodka. So, not, no, I guess is Testing. the actual end. No, I just had a, like, oh, yeah, okay, that's work, you know, let's put these back in the fridge. But, yeah, so contrary to popular belief, I am not an alcoholic. Great. But, now I want to have gummy bear soaked in vodka. Nice. They're good. Hey, I know so another are thing bears. that's good. Rummy bears are good. What's, what's, or like, what's good, Alana? Let's hear from you. All right, well, um, my friend Brian is a mixologist before he became a business person. And so when we go out, he mixes all of our drinks for us. And one of them is pancake breakfast. You do Jameson with a little bit of butterscotch schnapps in it, and then you chase it with OJ, and it tastes just like a, a pancake with uh, maple syrup over it. Oh, that sounds so, amazing. It's really, really good. And um, the toast, the toast that we do is, here's to you, and here's to me, and should we ever disagree, fuck you, here's to me. <laughs> <laughs> nice. I'll drink to that. I will eat my chips to that. Coke. <laughs> <laughs> so have you guys got some interesting fan mail? Speaking of sending postages of the comic uh, book. Um, Homework help. I haven't, I haven't, I haven't posted my um, address officially, but when people ask me for it, I, I give it to them. Like, I, I do have a mailbox at a UPS store, because you can get packages there. Anyway, um, but yeah, I got a couple of t-shirts, 
um, one with H.P. Lovecraft's head on, and then the other one, um, there was an extra finger on the hand, and it said, your next, so like, N-E-X-T, but it was your, as in Y-O-U apostrophe R-E, so there was an extra finger on the fist. <laughs> <laughs> cool. Where are we supposed to send uh, fan mail to you guys? I haven't gotten any sort of things. Although my my address is not online, my office address is online. It's on my CV. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and that's findable, I guess. But my home address is not. I don't think I'm gonna post my home address online just because. Yeah. Uh, that's not that, someone show up the next day. That's just <laughs> asking for some potential trouble, I guess. Uh, oh, I know. Yeah. Danielle um, has a PO box, and she gets a lot of stuff. She oh, actually yeah. does videos yeah. and all the stuff. Well, she gets. But she doesn't she like, like, she like is she a an Amazon wish list. Internet celebrity thing. I well, don't she's been think... getting a lot of uh, magazine subscriptions and stuff, too. So it's also yeah. a double-edged blade. I, I don't yeah. think I'm like... So I'm not an attractive female YouTube star. So I don't think I'll really get anything if I posted my address online. So. No, I you're an you attractive would. male reality <laughs> TV show But you star. are an attractive <laughs> male Google Plus yeah, well, but star. That's different. Like, I don't think that... like. So I don't think any like teenage dudes are gonna be like sending me stuff and like, <laughs> you know, I think that's like a major force of the internet. <laughs> You'd be surprised about the amount of teenage girls online. And maybe that's virtual about it. That's true. <laughs> yeah. But if I got stuff from teenage girls, I think it'd be like, kind of you know, to catch a predator. -y. <laughs> like, uh, kind of weird. We only if you respond. What? What? Only if you respond to them. Oh yeah, well, mm. still, it'd be kind of weird. Like I, I remember I got like messages on Twitter. Like some girl who was like twelve was like, "Oh, marry me and stuff," and I responded, oh. uh, "You can't fool me, Chris Hansen." <laughs> and <when> I get... <laughs> Chris Hansen, but he didn't respond. I was like, come on, Chris Hansen, you gotta respond to that. That was gold. I, he took the time to come up with that and he didn't even respond. What is that? I know. I know. Take a seat over there. So I promised that this would be capped at an hour. We started a little bit late, so I think we have another, what, 10, 15 30 minutes before an hour rolls around. So. Sorry, guys. <laughs> yeah, it's cool. It's cool. Um, one thing that we do have to do while we're on air is uh, wish a happy birthday to one of our nerd fathers. It is, it is uh, <laughs> Curtis Armstrong's birthday today. Oh, oh it is. Hey. Happy birthday, Curtis. Oh, no, it's Robert Carradine's birthday today. Robert Carradine. Oh, okay. Happy birthday. Robert Carradine. Happy birthday, happy birthday Robert. Robert. Happy birthday, Robert Carradine. <laughs> Or no what was his name? Skolnick on the in the movies. Booger and Snot, right? No, 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 it was uh, Lewis Skolnick and was Booger. Lewis, from American Lewis Skolnick. Dad. I Lewis, remember the last yeah. name, but I couldn't remember the first name. But yeah, I only knew the first name. So <laughs> yeah, after I listened well, to that Booger. podcast that Danielle was on on that TV show, she mentioned. That Robert Carradine was Mr. McGuire on Lizzie McGuire. I felt like an idiot that because I didn't true. remember that. I did well, not sad, remember that. I knew him more from that than from, uh, you know, Revenge, Revenge of the, of the Nerds. Nerds. Well, because like when that he was, was in Revenge show. of the Nerds, he was a lot younger, and yeah. then like now he looks just like he did on Lizzie McGuire. So I was like, oh man, it's Louis, Lizzie McGuire's dad. <laughs> he's still got the joke, like, the, he's still got that laugh and that smirk. But. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Indeed. Of course, Good here's guys. something else that might blow your guys' minds. Um, the So, Thomas the Tank Engine, <laughs> the conductor guys. Uh, I had George Carlin and Ringo Starr when I was growing up. <laughs> For my conductors. Ah, what? I did well, not know that George Carlin did the conductor. Yeah. Pour in the crap. Yeah. That is. Blowing awesome. my mind. 
Yeah, I I worked for <laughs> Toys R Us for like six <clears throat> years. So <laughs> wow. I'd get people going through my line and I'd be like, oh, Thomas Tank Engine, that was out when I was little. <laughs> Did you know that George Carlin used to do it? And That's they'd look pretty at awesome. Me? <laughs> I always Perfect. wanted to have like one of those change holders like schemer has so that I could like shake it. Those are <laughs> awesome. I own one of those and I do not regret buying it. <laughs> They're, so, They're so awesome. Like you yeah. press a button and like quarters pop out or something. Yes. <laughs> you could like you, no, I mean that, could, that would that not be, be right. But you could totally like go to a club and make it rain with like <laughs> <laughs> Like in today's oh, recession, you know, you can still be a baller. You just got to do it with with Lincoln's. <laughs> that is. Like, or in my case, do it with moose. Moose. There you go. Because that's what we have on the quarter. Yeah, but oh, with a quarter, money, not real money. Oh, I'm right? talking about yes. pennies here, buddy. Oh, pennies. Yeah, those are. Man, those are you're, in, you're like doing the big bucks up there in, <laughs> in Mooseland, like. Well, well actually, um, Canada. Isn't it the, a the maple? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Isn't it, it was, a maple it, in your penny? It pennies was, but none of. Do you guys ever get American pennies up in your change? Uh, yes, I have found a couple American pennies. Hold on to those. Those are worth something. Not like your money. It's true. <laughs> Our money is worthless. We, we get Canadian coins every once in a while. There's, they there's always disappointing. We always there's always the time. Snow people buy maple syrup with this, and we throw them in the trash. <laughs> there's always a ton. There's always a ton of what? Alana? Huh? Sorry, Alana was saying there's always a ton of something. What? Yeah, there's always a ton of Canadian money here because I live in upstate New York. Oh, that'll oh, happen. Okay, yeah. <laughs> that, that makes sense. That's true. Speaking of balling. like up in Maine, too. Oh. Speaking of balling, how have you guys' love lives changed since the show? Are Ooh, you all yes. stock calling now? Uh, well, because <laughs> I'm in lab all day, every day, <laughs> uh, you know, doing experiments. Like a baller. Uh, not a whole lot. Um, you know, I get lots of uh, teenage girls hitting on me on Twitter and stuff. That's um. <laughs> How about you, Alana? Um, since the show has aired, I have seen my husband for four weeks, and that includes the week I just spent with him. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But I uh, I work for Pure Romance, so if you want to look that up, you can figure out what that is, and that's my job <laughs> now. <laughs> yeah. uh, do you have, like, a bag of dongs that you carry around? <laughs> Actually, it's a tool kit. It's a, it's a rolling oh. tool um, case that I have them in. Nice. So you have, like, a little roadie case or something. <laughs> Did you yeah. get any? Did you get a lot of negative reaction for being so sex positive from the show? I did, I did, but okay. um, you know what? I'm going to continue being sex positive because you have much better sex when you talk about sex with the people that you want to have sex with. <laughs> so, so I, in, yeah, I kind of talk about sex with everyone. <laughs> Just kind of. Thank you, Alana. Yeah. I will remember that. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, like, I haven't been answering any sex questions like I thought I was going to, but I can totally answer more sex questions if people Ooh, ask just me just make that into a whole show. <laughs> yeah, that'd be a good YouTube <laughs> show. That yeah, well, there's funny. also, I, I follow Lacey Green, and she does a, a lot of the same things that I would want to do. And Who's Lacey Green? Is, is she, like, Dr. Ruth or something? But, like, yeah, old lady? No, no, no. The the old lady was Sue Johansson, but Lacey Green is about our age, and she has a show on YouTube called Sex Positive. Aww. So, so yeah. But so I follow her because she has a lot of interesting things, and then I can bring them up at my pure romance parties. <laughs> Every time you so. say pure romance, in my mind, I fill in the blank before you finish your sentence, and I think you're saying Purell. <laughs> <laughs> My products are not as sticky. 
<laughs> Purell? <laughs> oh wait, never mind, not Purell. <laughs> uh. Moo didn't answer her own question. Moo, have you been getting like oh. a lot of attention? What's the deal? Oh no, it's it's been similar. I mean, I have my wonderful man here, so I don't need any more attention except. My <laughs> <laughs> <Five times again. laughs> His hand just comes in. So. <laughs> <laughs> Very useful. Yeah, here's here's <laughs> my girlfriend too. Is that Jill or Rosie? Jill, J I L L. Uh, it's yeah, it's, uh, J I L L. Pamela uh, Anderson. No, it's a uh, Pamela Anderson. Yeah, or Pamela uh, Anderson. Uh, okay, because there's also Rosie. There's Rosie Palm. <laughs> Rosie Palm and her five sisters. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Oh man, you know, like if if I were into dudes, it would be so much easier, like with hand names, because then you could be like Orhando Bloom or like. <laughs> That's good. Um, yeah, Hando Calrissian. Yeah, Hando Calrissian, exactly. <laughs> yeah, but. Oh, nope. <laughs> hands, hands Blick from. Uh, Wow, I never even thought of that one. You wouldn't be able to find any weapons of mass destruction, though. <laughs> Maybe, uh, I'll let that joke slide, but... Maybe not on you, but whatever. <laughs> Moo, in response to my Alana's answer, did you get any backlash for being so sex positive on the show when you flat out said that you love sex? Yes. Um, I enjoyed that moment of the show. I got mostly positive, <laughs> although there are a couple people that said, oh, I can't believe, you know, she's supposed to be a NASA scientist, and she's all on TV acting like that, and it's like, I'm not yeah, sorry. Yeah, where's my tax money going? <laughs> <laughs> sorry, what we're we scientists, guys, we're scientists, we experiment. Exactly. I mean, it's a normal <laughs> vertebrate activity. Yeah, so, yeah. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, not not much negative backlash. A, a few words here and there, but yeah. yeah, pretty much. Like the only negative backlash I've been getting have been like super white men, <laughs> whereas like all the women have been like, "Oh my god, we love you. Keep talking." <laughs> Wish a woman would say that to me. <laughs> <laughs> I love okay, you, Casey. Casey. Keep talking. I love you too, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Did I just hear that right? Did you say keep talking? Do you guys yeah, hear well, that? I, I wish you. somebody would say that. Oh my. Okay, well, we should be drinking buddies. Come up state to Massachusetts, bro. Uh, hey, I used to live in Massachusetts. Come on back. We'll get matching leprechaun tattoos. We'll go to the bars <laughs> together. I don't know about the tattoo part, but I would gladly go to bars. <laughs> <laughs> okay, are there any last words? Because I promise to keep this capped, and I'm going to try to keep my promise, because I know... We're, we're not even close to an hour. we got ten minutes left, Moo. Come we've on. We've got, like, fifteen, I know, Moo. Moo. Jeez. <laughs> <laughs> you know, she can leave I'm and we can stay. you under the bus. Yeah. <laughs> I know. Well, I have to. I'm in charge of the hangout, so I when, once I leave, it shuts down. It no, doesn't, doesn't shut down. It, it doesn't shuts shut down, down the YouTube recording. Yeah, oh, it shuts really? down the yeah. YouTube recording, and everyone okay. who stays stays. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. You guys remember from last time you puking? That was a good time. Yeah, that was fun. You puke? <laughs> Yeah, he, he got really what? drunk and he went and puked and he didn't turn off his mic when he went and did it, so oh. it was really gross. Oh, that's gross. <laughs> that's oh, I did that's it for your so birthday, cool. bro. I did yeah, it for well, you. I know it was my birthday. <laughs> okay, but. well, in that case, we'll close out the YouTube portion, so is there any, are there any last words for YouTube? Um, I know I asked Brandon before, but I'm curious if Moo or Alana have seen any of the YouTube mashes of the show, either the King of Plebes or the King of Zimbabwe. King of Zimbabwe, yes. Wait, watch the King of Plebes. Plebes. I'll, I'll link it in the chat. I have, I have not watched that one. Plebes is as in, like, plebeians? I'll link it, yeah. I'll link yeah, it in the chat. <laughs> um, for, for a series?
seriousness, I, I really haven't looked up anything from King of the Nerds because I have a lot of haters. So, oh. so I'm like, I'm a really, I'm a nice person in person, but the internet hates me. So, Don't worry about the haters. You should yeah. use your dark, you should use your dark side of the force powers on them, like you did in the Dino in competition. <laughs> Well, I have been. I have a couple of followers now, so hey. <laughs> a couple of people are learning to use the power of the dark side. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the oh, cake great. is a lie. There is only cookies. Through imbibing cookies, I will gain mass. Through mass, I will gain inertia, and no power in the verse can stop me. <laughs> you guys look to your uh, right. I linked it in the chat for King of the Please. <laughs> Ah, King oh, yeah, of there it is. Leaves. That's episode four. I, I recommend watching all of them. They're hilarious. Return of the King. Nice. Like all of them, you can't take it too seriously because some of the some of the humor is mean spirited, but for the most part, it's. I just don't care. Mean spirited humor is that. like the best kind of humor. Um, it's only funny when someone gets their mean. feelings hurt. Well, no, 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 no. I mean, like okay. people are like, I don't know. I, for one, welcome any and all, like, mean-spirited humor about myself. I find it funny. Yeah, same but here. I, if, I think you can't, if you can't here. laugh at yourself, what can you laugh at? Uh, Moose his abilities. Stuff. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Will yeah, Ferrell. True enough. <laughs> no. Sorry, um, Well, I guess if they, if they mean it in, like, a, a jest, I'll be okay with it. Yeah. yeah. But... I don't even care if they're being serious, because, honestly, if somebody hates me that much, like, come on, like, whatever. I don't speaking give a crap. Jest, well, actually, not speaking of jest, because it's a few letters off, but, um, Joust. Did anyone see Celeste and Ivan's jousting match? Yes. Our queen. My, my buddies at MIT were actually there and saw it oh. live. Ooh, but, lucky dad. <laughs> yeah. I think they probably colluded in that tie, but I think that she uh, she definitely went for it. Yeah, definitely. My money would have been on Ivan, just because he's like height advantage, two hundred yeah. pounds and like seven foot tall. <laughs> he probably got like two feet on her, two and a half. Yeah. Maybe. <laughs> also, he's an elder god. It's true. <laughs> <laughs> if, he, if he had his goat like stealth, he like hands exactly, down. Exactly right. Um, but then again, Celeste only needs to like twist his nipple rings, and then she's like, <laughs> oh, uh, 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 <laughs> "You are at my mercy." Uh, so he told that he got him pierced just for him for the cosplay. I know. Oh, wow. I mean, he didn't, but. <laughs> It was it was hilarious. <laughs> the look on George Takei's face was just oh like, my. what? Yeah. <laughs> I wish He's there like, was a Those DVD. Are real? Yeah. Okay. I wish they the would release all that footage. The proper response would have been like, yeah, George, you like what you see? <laughs> but he didn't do that. I did it for you. <laughs> <laughs> I did it all for you, George. So much I love you. Does this make you notice me? What's up? <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. wow. That, that oh, my. You like overly you. attached girlfriend. <laughs> <laughs> All right, last words. How shall we end this YouTube broadcast? Um, oh, oh, please. I, I mean, I, mm -hmm. I, I just wanted to cap it not just so that everybody can go about their ways. But the YouTube broadcast will be closed. The Hangout will stay open. Um, so keep keep on, keep it on. But yeah. All right. Well, I actually, actually I, will I have, okay, be leaving no, because first. my husband's here. Yeah. Uh, sorry. Okay. I'm yeah, leaving. yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, no. Hit up your husband. Totally understand. Because he's like, you know, leaving and all. Yeah. So, <laughs> be more than hitting Yeah. Up. Say hi. Yeah. No, well, that's what I've been doing all week. <laughs> Wait, what is, what is Casey's like... What in the? <laughs> okay, uh, Moo, did, Moo, did you end the YouTube? <laughs> yes, there's going to be. That was for you, Brandon. <laughs> I'm going to close the YouTube feed in five seconds. Okay, Last words. and Last words. Hey, if five you seconds. have 41 seconds uh, to spare of your life, Shana watch Chimpan. Yeah. What does that mean? <laughs> if you have 41 <laughs> seconds to spare of your mean? life, watch Chimpan. It's, it's from, it's on a from Free Willy. It's what the Native American says to calm the whale down. 
He's Shana like, Shana na e o a e s s, and then and then the <laughs> whale's like, <laughs> and then <laughs> and like, it's, a, it's and like he has like go. whale weed or something. He's all like, okay, yeah. cool, man. That's one crossover I would love to see is like Whale Wars with Free Willy. <laughs> that would have been awesome. The inept like ex peta folks throwing. Like rotten butter at like <laughs> Japanese whaling ships, while like this orca goes like, like <laughs> and then the kid goes yeah, as the whale jumps over with this like dilapidated hump. That would be fun to watch. What if the whale <laughs> didn't watch. make it? The whale didn't make. Well, of course it's not gonna make it. Because, you know. <laughs> Like, well, because the Japanese whalers have to get themselves some whale meat somehow, and then, like, that causes the conflict where, like, the, you know, useless whale wars people start, like, being whiny hippies and throwing butter because that's supposed to do something. But, yeah. Do you whale? Fuck you, dolphin! <laughs> Darfin! <laughs> Uh, yeah. Butter does nothing to whales. It only works on lobsters. I think it's like butyric <laughs> acid, actually. It's supposed to smell like butter or something. I don't oh. know. <laughs> but well, you I just know that so. like, they do some stupid stuff, like busting up their helicopter and like being super like really dramatic over very little. I got it. <laughs> the butter is supposed to make everything on deck slippery, so when they're trying to kill the whales, they're like, can't get, you know, the harpoon in there. No, no, I mean, I think it's supposed out. to make it smell real bad so that they oh, can't sell the meat or something weeks. is um, what I think it is. But, so, I mean, it kind of makes sense, I guess. But the I think that there's probably a better way of going about this, you know, like trying to get international treaties. Live ammunition! <laughs> yeah, that would make them terrorists. <laughs> <laughs> Pirates, buddy. We're three miles out. It makes them pirates. <laughs> All right, everybody, wave goodbye. Bye. Bye. Live long and prosper. <laughs> what on earth is the piston arm? All right. <laughs>